Hi there, today we're going to be doing a tutorial on the anti-spun butterfly flower in a waffle. So, a few things you're going to want to know before you try this move. Butterfly. Split time butterfly, where you alternate the timing of your hands. Threading the needle is going to help a little bit with transitioning in and out certain things this move. So that's a good thing to know. Also, you're going to want to know the anti-spun flower on the wall plane. And for this move, I use a 3-beat. So, and you'll kind of figure out the timing of it when you get into it. So you're going to want to know how to do that with both hands. I'm going to be showing you the forward direction in this tutorial. You can also do it in reverse, as with pretty much every form. So, to begin move. Oh, one more thing you're going to want to know is lockouts from a butterfly. And that's where you kind of take, you take the plane from your regular butterfly plane and you take a hand out. And then you spin that plane slightly behind the other one. That way you can move it around. You can go over your shoulders, whatever you want to do with your lockout. But practice being able to do that with both hands. And once you have all that done, down, go from your butterfly, do a lockout. And just kind of hold it at the top. And go back into your butterfly, and take the other hand out. And do a lockout with it. And what you're going to want to practice doing is getting the split timing down with your lockout. So that when you do it, See how the poi follow each other over? They kind of meet right about here and they kind of go over across together. You're really beating your hands more side to side than your regular up and down. So, and then you got the other one. So practice each one of these separately. You can do one at a time and then back in one at a time and back in. And then once you get all that down, you got to start alternating them. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And each hand is going to go top, down, bottom, top, down, bottom. And when you go from the bottom, you rise up to the top. So top, down, bottom. So with the other hand, top, it's an anti-spun motion. That's how you get your three pedals. So, once you can do this, that's just three three beat thing with each hand. And the beats aren't always together. When one hand's going up and the other one's going down, the one hand is only doing one beat and the other one's doing two. So, once you have this down, then you just see how the poi are moving towards my left. It'll be your right when I'm going this with the left hand on top. You're going to move your hands together. And when you're up here, you're going to move your hands to the right. So basically your hands, what they're going to do, on a vertical line here that's invisible, move them over together. Switch, move it over together. So you got like this box here, four different points. You're just going over. One, two, three. Actually, I think I'm doing. I think I'm doing that backwards. One, two, three. One, two, three. Switch. One, two, three. So when you actually have the point in your hands. One, two, three. One, two, three. And I'm only counting with my right hand. If you notice, my left hand does an extra rotation after I count three. And I try to do it so that the poi kind of like meet each other halfway. So they kind of like shh, shh, kind of thing. And a similar move can be 
done on a buzz saw. For this, I use a four count. One, two. But anyway, so that's kind of the basic idea behind it. So I think you now have the tools to start working on that and hopefully learn that move. So.